Whatever the client and the creative team comes up with for this show, we work on the logistics and the operations and the processes to actually make that happen. And we take care of the scheduling, the invoicing, the trucking, getting the things on site, actually putting all of the building blocks in place so that whatever their idea was, we can bring it to life. This gala is really cool because it's honoring not just this year's Doris Duke um, artists, but also all of the artists from previous years. We have a really cool cocktail reception set up for the attendees, and then the artists, their trophies for being honored as Doris Duke artists this year are actually custom designed and sculpted by another artist, so they're really unique. This show um, has had some really interesting obstacles. We have currently um, over 120 people on site today. Um, and that's split up between some key groups. So about a third of that is our vendors. About a third of that is the client team. And then the other third of that is our production glue team. They're fantastic at their jobs. They make things happen so smoothly, but that also means there are some extra rules and regulations and contracts we have to be aware of. And we just have to be extra mindful of how the decisions that we make as a project team affect not just us, but the venue crew, their production staff, how that affects the client budget, things like that. Our main goal, especially for our design uh, graphic department, was to come up with a brand identity for the event. Collaborated closely with M, our Giro. They did a fantastic job with, uh, with everything, with all the print graphics, digital content. And the most challenging part was the Wall of Honor to honor the, the past artists. And they came up with a couple ideas. And there's that beautiful wall, wooden wall in the, in the atrium. I think they had six um, artists that were awarded. But in the past years, they also had 20 per year. So there were about 129 between uh, dance, jazz, music, and uh, theater. But I really enjoy being on site. And my designs come to life. That's really, I love that to see. <laughs> the real thing. When we started working on this back in September, um, Megan Sprouls, Robin, Henry, Gwendolyn Vital, myself, and a few others sat down and kind of worked with George Street to figure out what they were looking for. Um, and they wanted to create a video that profiled an artist who was responsible for creating the physical award that will be given to the honorees during the awards program. They wanted us to go to a studio and film him working and interview the artist Tariq about his process. So once you have all that stuff set in stone, there's a lot of scheduling that takes place and additional logistics and figuring out permits and who needs to be on site, when and where, and how they'll all get there. And So we brought in Cone Film to help us kind of come up with the vision and how the piece was going to actually look. and then. Internally, we worked on the post-production. There were a couple challenges that we ran into, sort of your typical New York City type of things, like the studio that the artist lived in wasn't really well insulated, so trying to get a clean record of his audio was pretty difficult. There was a construction site right across the street from us. The other thing that was a bit challenging was working with the natural light in the space. The artist studio had a lot of big windows, creating some pretty harsh light, but we ended up capitalizing on that to get some really cool B-roll that I'm really proud of. Oh,